Hello, good morning. I hope everybody can hear me well. Uh, thank you all for attending. Um, welcome. Uh, today, this morning, we had the figure of 495 uh, people registered. So today, we're going to be a few. We hope to be able to meet these high expectations that everybody has in this webinar. Very briefly, a few words to frame this webinar before giving uh, the floor to the Dean. One second. Okay, sorry. Uh, before giving the floor to the Dean of the Business Management School of Barcelona, Mr. Oriol Amat. Three years ago, we organized a physical meeting, a physical international seminar, when we launched our city branding program, uh, inviting cities from all around the world in order to share their best practices regarding identity, reputation, positioning, and branding. It was inspiring and helped us very much to design our future roadmap. Today, three years later, we organize again an international meeting, this time virtually, inviting experts and academics to interchange experiences. It's very clear that today the scenario is completely different, as well are the challenges. Cities need new tools and new strategies to face recovery and to be able to explain their new reality, their new opportunities, and their new storytelling. Although the different crises that Barcelona has gone through in the latest years, terrorist attack on La Ramblas or political instability, the city has proven a strong reputational resilience. It's true that strong brands, those who are based in structural assets, always overcome crisis. But it's also true that like, bike, like riding a bike, if you stop pedaling, probably your reputation may fall. Today, Barcelona is seen as a global city with human scale, is seen as a city for a lifetime project, is seen as a city with one of the best work-life balances. These are assets that we have and that we need to keep working on. But at the same time, we need to reaffirm our identity with new roadmaps associated to new values and assets that we are working, like security, solidarity, sustainability, health or technology. I'm sure that today we will be learning a lot about these issues from our experts and a lot about uh, uh, many other things. Now, before concluding, only remind you that after the speech of Professor Greg Clark, uh, we will have a short Q&A. I would like to ask all the participants to make uh, uh, their questions to the chat Zoom tool, and if possible, to send uh, to the option to all attendees and speakers so all of us can see all the questions. At the end, if we are on time, I will pick up questions for Professor Clay Clark. That's all, remind you to keep off your micros and cameras if you're not speaking. And please, uh, Dean, Mr. Oriol Lamat, the floor is yours. Good morning to everyone. Uh, let me start by saying hello to Mr. Jaume Coiboni, first uh, Deputy Major of Barcelona, and to Professor uh, Greg Clark, and to Mario uh, Robert, and to the rest of the speakers and participants. At the UPF uh, Barcelona School of Management, uh, we are proud uh, to collaborate with the webinar together with the Barcelona City Hall, Barcelona Activa, and uh, Always uh, Barcelona. Now it's time to rethink everything. And of course, uh, we need to rethink uh, cities and city brands. Barcelona brand uh, is in a very good position. It's one of the best uh, cities in the world, according to many rankings, for example, like the uh, foreign direct investment by uh, Financial Times. And uh, this good branding is a consequence of many strengths, uh, location, climate, culture, 
but also good strategy. And this city, during several decades, has had a very good strategy. One of the strengths of this city, of course, is the university ecosystem. And at UPF, uh, we are proud to be part of this ecosystem. Thank you all for your time and attention, and I wish you a great webinar. Hello, thank you, uh, Dean Oriola Matt. And now the floor is for the first Deputy Mayor of Barcelona, Mr. Jaume Coiboni. Jaume, the floor is yours. Muchas gracias, muchas gracias, Suriol. Welcome to Barcelona. Good morning, everyone, and sunny greetings from, from Barcelona. And we'd like to welcome all the distinguished speakers and participate in this webinar on the region of Europe and Asia. Many thanks for your time and the, and the expertise that you will share with us. I also want to welcome all the local and international attendees of this webinar from Barcelona City Council. We are hosting this webinar from Barcelona, Catalonia, Spain, a city with a metropolitan region of nearly 5 million inhabitants, a fully European and Mediterranean city with its own language, culture, and history. Historically, we have been and continue to be a top level economic and industrial driver, and we are det determined to continue playing such a role in the future, promoting a new inclusive and sustainable economical model. As Professor Greg Clark says, cities have a unique DNA. A Barcelona City Council we know it, and we are fully aligned with it. That's a fundamental part of our identity, and this is well reflected in our city branding, making sure to create an inclusive sense of belonging. Barcelona's DNA also plays an instrumental role in defining our path to the, to the future through a competitive approach, particularly in the catalytic moment that we're living due to the COVID crisis. The COVID-19 pandemic is a crisis of a dominantly urban nature uh, as its phenomenon of global globalization. We will need to live in more human, more sustainable, more hygienic and healthy urban environments. To ensure the country competitiveness Cities must be agents of the first magnitude so as to have more and better tools, both in terms of resources and skills. This makes this biggest collective challenge in many decades due to its global and cross-cutting impact. This impact forces municipal administrations to face the situation with a comprehensive vision. Despite these changes, and this, nece this necessary adaptation, we will remain true to our DNA so that Barcelona continues to be Barcelona. Through the model of success that has made our city such an attractive and internationally acclaimed place. How did we do it? Uh, the Barcelona Roadmap. One, a country strategy. The strategy of the government of Spain was to, to impose one of the strictest lockdowns in Europe since mid-March. Such strict measures proved to be effective and showed good results. Two, fast mobilization of resources. Barcelona City Council created a specific uh, fund to COVID intent to mitigate the social emergency and economic recovery of the city. Three, readaptation of municipal finances. Four, the Barcelona uh, deal that we are uh, signing today. Political boost with the support of the entire opposition parties. More than 200 social, economic, and civic stakeholders 
we are on the point of reaching a major agreement to define priorities in the medium term. Five, global alliances. Since the start of the COVID-19 outbreak, Barcelona has been in touch with uh, fellow global cities all over the world to exchange practices and lessons learned. In this regard, from the Barcelona City Council, we have participated in several webinars and online uh, meetings in the frameworks of Eurocities and other global city forums in order to share our good practices from Barcelona and to learn from other global cities. A city priority has always been to work in national and international municipal networks. Um, pun, uh, six is the creation of CECORE, the Center of the Coordination and Economic Response of the City of Barcelona that has already implemented a number of measures that it will touch upon later on. This defines and executes a cross-cutting strategy of municipal response to COVID-19 to deal with the post-crisis economic situation. An example of our economic promotion and city branding strategy that we announced last week is uh, Barcelona Partners, the public-private investment agency of Barcelona conceived to attract foreign investments to boost the full potential of our city. We will have the managing director of uh, London and Partners later on this panel too, and I'm sure uh, he will be able to share some great success stories with us. So we have vision and, amb and, vision and mission. Uh, we concern the, the impact of the crisis with a short-term and medium-term vision. Our aim is to remain a leading city in the new normal. We are analyzing the changes introduced by the crisis, new consumer habits, impact at the international level, etc. We see the crisis as a catalyst for moving towards a new economic agenda. So concluding, Barcelona has taken, has taken a, a path where, where innovation and public-private partnerships are key to trying to overcome that challenge while ensuring this, the city doesn't stop. <laughs> 